Hello, I'm Casey from the Glass and Art Studio. Thank you for buying a Make at Home kit. Today we're going to do the clear Christmas trees with lights. I've already made the line for the lights on the tree and they've been pre-fired. And then you're going to add the lights and whatever other decoration you'd like to add to it. So as always, you need to give the glass a clean with some glass cleaner and a wipe. And this is to get rid of any grease that's on the glass and might lead to devitification, which is where the glass goes cloudy in the kiln. So it's nice and clean both sides. Okay, and I'm now going to put some little bits of glue along the line of the lights, just for where my lights are going to go. So you can space them out as much as you'd like to. The glue is a PVA mix of water and PVA. The water just lets it dry a little bit quicker because we don't want any wet glue going in the kiln because it can lead to marks. So over here I've got some frets. This is crushed glass that's crushed by machine and some of the colours are going to change. So this lilac colour here is actually going to go to the bright pink after it's fired. It's called a striker and it won't change colour until it's been in the kiln. So you need to imagine a little bit of what the glass is going to do. We've got emerald green and we've also got medium amber and garnet red. So I'm going to start by just placing the colours where I'd like them to go. This frit is coarse inside which means it's a little bit chunkier so that it keeps a little bit of texture after it's fired. And you can just add the colours in any order that you like. If you'd like specific colours, let me know and I'll try and get them in your kit. Bullseye glass is the glass that we're using and they have a massive range of colours. So I can usually do most colours. Okay, go for a green, emerald green. And you kind of want to make them hang down a little bit, so you don't want to place the fritz above the line. If you want them to look like lights, you might not be too worried about that, and that's absolutely fine. When I played around with it, I realised that if you hang them a little bit lower, they look a little bit more like lights. Some of the golden colours are actually going to go to this deep red, which is garnet red, and obviously it won't change until it's been fired. So I'm going to work my way through the colours. And if you would like to have a dichroic star like this one here, let me know and I'll make sure that you've got one in your kit. And it just sits at the top of the tree. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. There we go, that's everything finished. As with all of the kits, you need to let the glue dry for 48 hours, bring it back to me, and then I'll fire it and put some ribbon on, ready for you to hang it on your tree. Thank you very much.